Welcome to the channel. It's always good to be here with you. I'm glad you're here with me. If you're not a subscriber, please hit the like, subscribe, and share button. We have a great time in the comment sections. We just don't do any cursing. Those will get deleted. So today we want to talk about the Colorado season and how you feel about it. So the question is very simple. Do you think it was a good season, a positive season, a great season, whatever it is? So I want you to grade it. A, B, C, D, E, or F. If you think it was a horrible season and did not like it was going on, same scale for you. A, B, C, D, E, F. Now, we all know C is right in the middle of the line. D is subpar. E is what it is. And F is, you know, bam, terrible. A, B, you know, you know the rules. All right. So, let's give you some information to work off of. So, Coach Prime comes in, he takes over a program that is dead last in every category. They're dead last in offensive scoring. They're dead last in points given up. They're dead last in the FBS at 133 with one win. Just everything's horrible with this team. No turnover margins, nothing. I think they had one all season, and that one got them that win with an interception against Cal, and that was Trevor Woods who did that. Without that, they would have went winless. So this is the team that he's taking over. Now, we all know the deal. Here comes Louie. I'm bringing my Louie. You know, um, all the videos of the practices and all that. The spring game comes. It's sold out. The hype, the euphoria is there. They have a, a monster spring game. But you see it. You had some defections at that point. Players gone, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 of them. All the new guys come in. So we all know all the story as how this went. So I'm looking at it from my perspective. And what I'm going to tell you about this team is I thought that this team would win seven games. That's what I saw. That's what my insider that is at the CU practices in the facility, meeting and talking to the players and talking to the coaches, giving me that kind of insight, the amount of talent is there, the amount of coaching is there, what they're being given to work with, seven wins was a good estimation. And so uh, I'm going directly off of the source, and I'm believing. So game one, I run down to the bookie. I drop, I drop crazy money on Colorado. Everybody knows that. I'm the first and only one. To say they're going to cover the 20 and a half point spread and that they're going to outright win this game. Bam, cash on it. I cashed out big time. So then second game, same thing, third game. So my expectations of seven wins were there for me to have. Now, we didn't reach that because we only hit four. So knowing that and watching the ups and downs, watching the coaches leave now, watching the players decommit now, watching players hit the portal and run, you know, with everything that went on, I'm going to give this season a C plus. And I give it a C plus because you have to remember, this program was dead last across the board in every category. Now, it didn't meet my expectation of seven wins, a bowl game, you know, the euphoria of all that. But the positives are you have a quarterback and you can't win anywhere on any level without a quarterback. Okay? Two, you still have excellent talent at the skilled positions. Regardless of all the decommits and all the transfers and everything else, you have an abundance of talent at the skill positions. So that's two positives. Now, you need more skill positions. I'm sorry, not skill positions. You need more war trench positions on the offensive line and defensive line. So that's a setback. So you can't get an A knowing that you need those. You can't get an A or B seeing that you gave up some big leads and you lost some games that you should have been in. Some timeouts weren't called properly or they were called too often. You know, some of the signal or the plays in and out, having to use timeouts, uh, still having players 
too many players on the field on defense with switches being taken place. So some miscommunication, and so you can't get an A or B for that. But I'm not going to go below a C plus because of the positives. So you have Pat Shermer stepped in. The offense appears to be, you know, set up differently. It's scaled out differently. The ball moves in different places. It's going to different players. And now the players that just disappeared from the offense are back in the offense. So that's a positive. Then you have another positive. You have some coaches that will move out of the way that are unsatisfied, that have other opportunities, that don't have their heart in it, and you'll have the opportunity then to bring in another set of coaches that will support what you're doing with more fervor, with more energy, and so therefore that's a positive. So that's why I give this team a C plus. You still have a quarterback. You still have skilled players. You still have coaches who care. You have coaches that are departing that are not necessarily in it to win it. And that opens up room to bring in coaches that can drive this team. You have plenty of open scholarships with all the transfers and portal. So you have room to bring in more talent. That's my assessment. What do you think of the Colorado season? 